If you're thinking about living in Chula Vista, California, I'm here to give you the pros and cons right now. Hi, I'm Tamara Peterson and welcome to another episode of SD Vibes. Today we're going to talk about living in Chula Vista, California. The pros, the cons, and everything in between. First, let's start with the pros and talk about all the reasons why people love living here in Chula Vista. So for starters, I grew up in Chula Vista. I lived there for nearly 25 years, which is longer than I'd like to admit. And so having had that opportunity to grow up there, I can tell you all the ins and outs of Chula Vista and where it's been and why it's become one of the fastest growing communities in San Diego County. I'm gonna start by talking to you about the pros of living in Chula Vista. First, Chula Vista has an amazing atmosphere. It's very family friendly, casual, just a great place to live. And because of that, Chula Vista has a number of outdoor recreation spaces, parks, libraries, rec centers, and plenty of activities to do as a family. So Chula Vista is a pretty large city. Few people realize that area-wise it's the same size as San Francisco. And so from the Bayfront to the East County and Otay Lakes, you're gonna have a variety of different kinds of activities available. For example, over on the Bayfront side, you're gonna see people boating, kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, walking and cycling. Now in the East County, similar, you're gonna see people out on the lake, you're gonna see people hiking, walking the trails, biking through the town, kids sporting events, all kinds of things are going on out there. One of the other things that makes Chula Vista so family friendly is that there's a number of top rated schools all throughout the city. From East Lake to Benita High School to Arroyo Vista Elementary School, there is no shortage of good places to put your kids. And I know this firsthand. My son attended Clearview Elementary School, my husband graduated from Benita, and I went to Chula Vista High. Because Chula Vista is so large, there's such a large number of schools. So if you have any questions on any specific schools, feel free to message me. I'll be happy to help you out. The key when you're looking into Chula Vista is narrowing down what area you want to be in. So you've got the Bayfront area that's kind of the more older kind of classic charming style homes out to the East Lake more inland area where temperatures get a little bit warmer and your homes are more of those kind of traditional track houses and that leads me to the second pro of living in Chula Vista and that there is a wide wide variety of housing options available unlike some other areas in San Diego County Chula Vista is gonna have something for everybody from your studio apartment to your multi-million dollar estate home so in the downtown area of Chula Vista, you have older craftsman style homes, all the way up to kind of those mid 60s level um, ranch style houses. That area used to be lemon fields and so you can see, find some homes that you know go back as far as the 20s in that area. One of the exciting things about the older area of Chula Vista towards the Bayfront is that they've finally approved a number of projects that are going in that are going to bring in restaurants, housing, a hotel, and more um, opportunities for outdoor engagement. As you start to move inland and you get past the 805 and you start moving east, you're going to get to more of those kind of traditional um, early 90s track style houses as you get out to East Lake and then you're gonna get into the newer developments in Otay Ranch and out in like East Lake Woods and the trails all the way out to Rolling Hills Ranch and those are all the um, newer homes they typically have HOAs and Malaroos. One of the other things that makes Chula Vista appealing is that it's only about 15 minutes from downtown and the housing prices tend to be a little bit more affordable than in the San Diego metro area but because of the demand in San Diego County prices have been going up in Chula Vista. That leads me to the third reason why people enjoy living in Chula Vista, and that's convenience. Chula Vista has it all. There is a number of shopping opportunities in all parts of the city, and most places in Chula Vista are only about 15 minutes from downtown and about 10 minutes to 32nd Street, Navy Base. And if you're wondering how quickly you can be in North County with no traffic, about 45. Chula Vista is also only about 25 minutes from MCS Miramar. And I mention that because we have a lot of military families in Chula Vista. And so we typically see a lot of people commuting to those areas. So in short, Chula Vista is affordable, convenient, and really family friendly. But let's talk about some of the reasons why you might not want to live here. So one of the cons about living in Chula Vista that I sometimes hear is the air quality tends to be on the poor to fair side. While it's not entirely uncommon for California, it is something to consider if you're thinking about living here. So if you have allergies or you're concerned about air quality, you definitely want to do a little bit more research before considering living here. All right, the second con of living in Chula Vista is that if you have to commute, you're gonna have to deal with traffic. Although Chula Vista is really convenient, one of the things you're gonna wanna do is to check out the traffic patterns for the area that you're gonna be working in. If you're gonna be working north of the Interstate 8, you're gonna have to deal with you know, more than 20, 30 minutes of traffic each direction each day, and the farther north you go, 
the longer it gets if you're gonna be driving in rush hour. If you're going downtown, that quick 10, 15 minute drive can easily turn into 20, 25 minutes. If you're traveling from Chula Vista to the Coronado, like to North Island, you're gonna be looking at about 15 minutes all the way up to 30 minutes, depending on how traffic in the bridge is and the time of day that you're traveling. A third con of living in Chula Vista, and this is gonna be a con pretty much anywhere you live in California, is the higher cost of living. So while Chula Vista is affordable relative to San Diego County, it is still about 47% higher general cost of living than the national average. So while healthcare costs in general are lower, you are gonna to have to consider things like groceries, transportation costs, and utilities being typically a lot more expensive than other states. So the sticker shock of relocating here from another state can be a little bit intense. So I recommend that while you're here, you go into the stores, check out grocery prices, go fill up your gas tank, take a look at um, some of the other things that you might be interested in doing while you're here and compare those costs to where you're coming from. Well, I hope this gave you some of the pros and cons of living in Chula Vista. If you have any questions, feel free to message me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button or check out some of our other videos of living here in San Diego. I'm Tamara Peterson, I'm with Big Block Realty.